Ooh, this looks magical. Hi there, by the way. So this video has been sponsored by 505 Games. And I've been given a quest. Using your art skills to share the secrets of Grow, the Song of the Ever Tree, by crafting a mystical display. I am thinking paper and paint. All right then, I do love to craft. <laughs> this has come with a demo, so let's research first what Grow is. Grow has a lovely drawn intro, it's so artistically beautiful. The main focus is around the ever tree and the worlds that surrounded its branches. However, darkness crumbled the heart of the ever tree, and in the silence, the withering took root, destroying the city. Your character in the game is as the last ever heart alchemist, so cool, and you explore beautiful worlds and help them flourish. Grow is full of so many fun characters like Kazumi, your flying companion who takes you to other destinations, and I just love the design of Kazumi. I really love all of the characters. They look gorgeous. And you get to meet them, create a community, listen to their stories, and help them complete tasks. The game opens in the alchemy house, which is so cool. It's so cool. There's so much detail. Here you are greeted by Coppertop and Book. They teach you about the story and they provide you with a set of tools that you use to collect the minerals, flowers, fish, bugs, plant seeds, and other things that you'll use to create branch world seeds. Then you get to tend to those worlds by exploring and creating them. With the help of alchemy, you can create buildings, vast meadows, deserts, frozen tundras, and some unexpected surprises. I don't want to spoil too much because it's definitely something to be experienced, which you can do today on PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. I'm excited, let's get a going. For the art projects, to start out, I am doing two paintings and I'm keeping them pretty basic. My goal today is to make a miniature set of the alchemy house that's almost like a pop-up painting. I love the design of this place. It's just this adorable cottage mystical looking building. But we're starting with the backdrops. So the first painting is going to be a simple sky design based on colors I've seen in the game. And I'm doing it with acrylic paint. By the way, the background music is from Grow, Song of the Ever Tree as well. The soundtrack was composed by Kevin Pimpkin and it's so magical and lovely and I'm very happy to be using it today. Now we're on to the second painting. For this one, I'm making it a pathway base covered with grass, stony rock textures, lots of vibrant colors, as well as some muted ones. I'm using rich colors of purple, blues for shadowing, and just trying to keep it very simple, very basic, and again that concept art feel. And I really like how it turned out. And I did make the road look a little bit squished together, so when we place the building on it later and take a picture of it facing front, it'll give an illusion of dimension. And the idea is to put them in an L shape together to make a scenery. So we have the lovely sky here, and then we have the foreground. But I'm really happy how this one turned out. The colors, they're nice. The colors have gone together very well. <laughs> Another thing that I love is that there are runes and caves and secret areas in the game to explore. And once I saw there was a cave, I just kind of got distracted. And I was like, I want to make a cave paper cut, and I'm going to make it a dimensional paper cut because I've always wanted to do that. So welcome to the side project. <laughs> For this project, I spent a very long time mapping out and planning 12 different layers for the cave. So we have the background layer, we have water layer here, I made a bridge layer, had to get the cave textures in there. I'm making it look very easy here, but rest assured, it took a long time. And then we layered them up. And I'm really happy with how it turned out, but then I also was like, it'd be even better if they were spaced out. So I built a custom box to space them, and I put little sponge pieces in between to keep them from folding in. Can I just say, I'm so incredibly happy with how this turned out. Like, that's a cool. I didn't know I could make that. <laughs> yeah, but the scenery in the game is really beautiful, and once I learned you can go inside a cave, I was like, <laughs> cave. I like caves, so I really wanted to make a cave. I know it's not centered on the box, but to give it support, I did have to put the paper on the one side of the box firmly, and the other one kind of float. <laughs> That's my first time doing a paper craft like that, where it's the dimensional kind and I want to do more. <laughs> and now we get to start on the main projects. And for this, I'm cutting out lots of different elements on sheets of paper. The type of paper I used is scrapbooking paper because these have different textures and I think it really makes the piece pop. 
and I spent so much time on this. So much time. It took so long. It's not that easy to cut straight. You might also notice I have gloves on. This is to protect the sheets of paper. I took them off on places where it got a bit too difficult to cut with them on. But for the most part, I tried to keep them on to make sure the paper was going to be clean. And I'm just continuing to cut lots of things. And I just had a ton of fun designing this. Again, the game is just so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. Also been designed as a game that you can relax to, so I'm very much looking forward to just enjoying the scenery, playing the game, having it be cute, growing stuff. There is a download link for the game in the description. Should you like to check it out, please do. Here I tried to add some texture lines, so I'm actually going to layer up the pieces, which means I got to just trace some pieces, which was good. Then we're cutting this on the face. These are to make my window lines look a bit cleaner. Here's the main body, the top of it, and then the door. I love the design of the door, it's very cute. And then we put it all together. I traced my cut pieces and made a background for it, so that way when I stuck them all together they had a nice mat to go onto. So it should be all good. And now I'm using double-sided sticky tape, which I will highly recommend if you are doing a paper cut project because Glue will warp the paper. I will say it again. Glue will make your paper go wonky. Unless you put it on a book for hours and things. The nice thing about the double-sided sticky tape too is that you stick it down and that's that done. I am going to try to do a little bit of the inside of the building. And so I've got a wood texture floor base paper. I did a watercolor painting of copper top. Cut that out with the idea of standing it up later. Then I did a paper cut of the bookcase, propped it all together. I also took the time to make a window. I cut it out on the first sheet of paper. On a clear acrylic sheet, I painted the window design, and then I sandwiched it between the two sheets of paper, and then we have a window. And then because I just don't know when to stop and I love the ever tree, I went ahead and did a paper cut of the ever tree. Please stop me at this point. I've been going for so long. Here, I'm putting the ever tree together. I don't even have a spot for this on my project. I just really wanted to make that ever tree. <laughs> but here we are. You know what? I did it. I did it. I did the thing. And with a bit of magic, oh, it's floating. I really do love the style of a floating island. Hi there, here is my set. <laughs> it's adorable. So good. <laughs> the sun. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. Can I show you that close? I'm proud. I'm very proud. It's gotten inside as well. I I'm really liking the paper craft right now. It just has a storybook feel to it. Also, this is like a pop-up painting. I'm so happy. <laughs> so I like that the window actually works. It's a window. <laughs> And here is the finished design. Thank you so much to 505 Games for letting me do this campaign because it's so fun. I love the game. I absolutely love it. Looking at it, it is just beautifully designed. I'm very excited to play it more, complete puzzles, have fun with it, relax to it, and just be immersed in beautiful scenery. Also, something really cool that 505 Games is doing is that they have a wishlist campaign running on Steam. Through this, you can unlock features and launch discounts, but the main goal is to actually plant 10,000 trees. How cool is that? That's so cool. Thank you so much for watching and again Grow is out today on PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. There's a link in the description. How did I make this? <laughs> also, I do have a golden pin giveaway so if you'd like a chance to win a golden pin, please leave a nice comment down below. And I'll see you guys again next time. Bye! 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 Am I having fun with this? Yeah. Yeah, I am. <laughs>